Hello, how to solve this radical problem? We have root t equals 2 minus root 2. We are solving for all values of t that satisfy this equation. So the first step will be, I can decide to move this over here. This becomes positive root 2, so I have root t plus root 2, and this equals 2. Now, the next step will be for me to take the squares of both part of this equation. I raise this to the power of 2 and this to the power of 2. So from here, I can decide to expand this using this identity. a plus b raised to the power of 2 equals, this is a squared plus 2 times ab plus b power 2. And in this particular case, a is root 2 and b is root, a is root t and b is root 2. So let me substitute everything right here. So I'm going to have a squared, that is root t power 2 plus 2 times ab, that is 2 times root t times root 2 plus, this is b squared, that is square root of 2 power 2. And this equals, this is 2 power 2. From here, this square root eliminate the square here. We have t plus root t times root 2. This is root 2t. So we have 2 times square root of 2t plus this cancel this. We have 2 and this equals 4. So from here, we can multiply this out. This is 2 root 2t. I can move this over here, have you seen it? And remember there is t here, plus and this equals 4 minus 2. So from here, I can have t plus 2 root 2t equals 2. That is 4 minus 2 is 2. Right now, I can also decide to move this t over here. It becomes minus t. So I have 2 root 2t equals 2 minus t. So I can divide this by the 2 here and divide this by 2. 2 cancels 2. So what I'm going to have is simply root 2t equals 2 minus t divided by 2. So right now I want to eliminate the square root. I take the squares again of good part of this equation. This cancel this. So what I'm going to have will be 2t equals this. Simply means 2 minus t divided by 2 times 2 minus t divided by 2. So right now, what I'm going to have will be this is 2t equals 2 times 2. That is 4. 2 times minus t minus 2t, minus 2t times 2, minus 2t, minus t times minus t, plus t power 2, divided by 2 times 2, we have 4. So right now, this is over 1. I can decide to cross multiply. 4 will multiply 2t, that is 8t, and this equals 4, minus 2t, minus 2t, minus 4t plus t power 2. So right now, I can decide to move this 8t over here. It becomes negative 8t. I have 0 equals 4, minus 4t plus t power 2, minus 8t. So right now, I'm simply going to have 0 equals 4, minus 4t minus 8t. This is minus 12t plus t to the power of 2. Let's rearrange this quadratic equation. I simply have it as t power 2 minus 12t plus 4 equals 0. Now let's solve this. We can solve it using the formula method. We are going to write the formula in respect to t. So I'm going to have t equals negative p plus or minus 
square root of b power 2 minus 4 times ac divided by 2 times a. And right now, we have 1 here, which is the coefficient of t squared. That is our a. Negative 12 here, which is the coefficient of t. That is our b. This is c. So right now, I have t equals negative b. Our b is negative 12, so I have negative times negative 12 plus or minus square root of b squared, that is negative 12 to the power of 2 minus 4 times a is 1 times c is 4 divided by 2 times 1. So right now, I'm simply going to have t equals multiplying this out. This is 12 plus or minus square root of this is 144 minus 16 divided by 2. So right now, this is t equals 12 plus or minus square root of this is 128 divided by 2. So from here, on, we have t equals 12 plus or minus square root of we can express it as 64 times 2 divided by 2. From here, we have t equals 12 plus or minus square root of 64 times square root of 2 divided by 2. From here, we have t equals 12 plus or minus. This would give us 8. So that is. 8 times root 2 divided by 2. So from here, you have t equal this, cancel this, cancel this is 6, this is 4. So we have 6 plus or minus 4 root 2. That means we are having two values for t. We simply have t1 equals 6 plus 4 times square root of 2, and also t2 equals 6 minus 4 times square root of 2. These are the two values for t. Now the next thing we are going to do will be to check using each of these values, and let's see if they are all going to satisfy the equation. So we have check. And we have the two values t1 equals 6 plus 4 times root 2. And t2 equals 6 minus 4 times root 2. So remember the problem, which is root t equals 2 minus root 2. So if you consider this first one here, that is 6 plus 4 root 2. We are going to have square root of 6 plus 4 root 2. Is it the same thing as 2 minus root 2? Now look at it here. If you actually multiply this out, 4 times root 2, root 2 is about 1 point something. See, if you multiply this out, then add it to 6. So definitely, you are going to have a number that is bigger than 3. So the square root of this will be a number that is bigger than 3. So definitely, you have a number greater than 3 here. And this is absolutely not equal to this because 2 minus square root of 2 will give you a number that is less than 1. Have you seen it? So, 2 minus this is giving you a number that is less than 1, and this is giving you a number that is greater than 3. So, that is just it. That means that solution is not correct. So, the next thing will be for us to consider the next solution. So, that means this particular solution is wrong. So, this is a wrong solution. Let's consider this other one here. 6 minus 4 root 2. So we are still going to get back to the same equation. 
root t equals 2 minus root 2. So we have 6 minus 4 root 2. That means we are going to have square root of 6 minus 4 root 2 equals 2 minus root 2. Now look at it here. Obviously, this square root of 2 is our 1.4, so we multiply by this. Then we are going to have maybe 5 point something or 6, so it's 5 point something. So this will obviously give you a number that is less than 1, because this will give you about, about 5 point something. Then you subtract it from 6, you have 1 point something, so you take the square root of that. So this will give you about 0 point something. That's less than 1. And equals this is about 1.4 something. So 2 minus that will give you about 0 point something. That is also less than 1. So have you seen it? Less than 1, less than 1. Meaning that they are very close. So it is obviously going to be the correct answer. It's obviously going to be the correct answer. So that is it. The answer right now, based on what we have done, is this. 6 minus 4 root 2. So ladies and gentlemen, that is it. Thank you and goodbye.